sunsets a beaut. Seems to be a pretty common occurrence up here. It's a love ledger of the radio, so this afternoon, well it's pretty much tonight, I'm just putting through, putting together some shock mounts. So these are the lower shock mounts. Um, I'll show the uppers later, I'm doing them a little bit differently, but um, basically just starting to put two, two pieces of right angle, five mil thick stuff, so I'm just going to cut that down and create a bit of a, a cradle for them. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a prototype. Has worked out pretty well. So, and, uh, I'll show you how to do the second one and show the process and uh, yeah, see what it looks like. One must say thanks to Arth Shane. No, you know, I'm going to pick that up. I drew a bit of a diagram because I knew I wasn't going to be able to remember what measurements I'd worked out the first time. I surprise myself every now and again. So basically 140 together is the combined distance between. I need to get to 35 in total. Because that's the length of the bush. So 35 off 140 gives us 105 minus 2 means 52 to cut from each piece, which then we make up 35 on the other bush. Double check.
So GoPro died last night just before we finish this last bracket. Um, so yeah, just got to weld it together now. And get it all finalised, cleaned up and whatnot. Steady. Don't do that. Tacked in place, so just get the, the bush and the bolt in, which will keep it. Yeah, nice. Nice and snug the way we want it. So now I'll give a few stitches on the inside with that. But I didn't mean keeping it apart because it's gonna, this side is what's gonna close it in, so. Before we set the bush on fire. Alright, so that's a little uh, tacked on, I just marked that centre. Uh, based off the centre of that, which is going to be the upper. So I'll keep it nice and straight up and down. I want to choose an angle finder just to set that angle roughly uh, where I want the bolt to be, which will give me my ideal length and angle of the shock top now. I mostly just record that angle just so I get both sides the same. Not too much, but you want things to be pretty close. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty good there. I didn't want it too low, so I don't catch on shit, but not really much you can do. It's sort of got to go where it's got to go. It's boring. Why in a sec? So these shocks are uh, 45, 40 series front shock, I think, or rear shock, whatever it is. That's pretty common of what um, what caravan mobs use in caravans and that because they're pretty pretty small shock, I suppose, um, with a fairly good um, a fairly good stroke. So they're closed at 350 and open at about 540. So to work out those mounts, what I did was just work out the, the travel, which is 190, I think. Um, divide that by two, and in the middle of that is, yeah, is sort of roughly in the middle of the, call it the stroke of the shock or whatever. Um, so that was about 440, but obviously that's going to change when we've got weight on. So, I don't know the measures. I, don't know. I basically measured sort of, I went. So sort of guesstimated and said, all right, without the weight on it, um, 470. So that allows it 30 mil to compress once all the weight's on it. So that's where I got. I knew I want this here, and I didn't want. Well, they say no. They say no more than a 30 degree angle, um, which that's about a 50 degree, 60 degree, something like that. So yeah, I basically just measured there. From there to the 470. Get out where the top one was going to be, um, and that's how I got that roughly 60 degree angle on the lower mount. So um, yeah, I'll finish this side, put it in, just make sure it all fills the loops and sits right, and then we'll uh, do the other side. So I got lucky with the uh, lower mount. It was the only 
Yeah, yeah. but I've managed to find a, a box section with the ID that suits what I'm doing. Um, so it's just 40, 40 by square, which will be tight, but um, just take a little bit off the inside. Get where that piece is going there. So I'll just notch that out to fit where the skids are. It just keeps it um, keep it straight, plus we'll put a bit of weld on the skid just for a bit extra. Extra support, so I'm basically just notching out a section here. And I'll bang that hole for the side um, for the bolt, so uh, yeah, let's do it. I just realised I'll have to notch out a bit more of these just to make room for that boot because of the angle that it's on so not really saving any time <laughs> doing it this way but because I'll have to um, I'll cut it out but then I'll put a plate in under there just to bring a bit of strength back into that end of it so uh, yeah should be good though Alright, so that's one side in. It's, um, it's still just tacked in there a bit. But, um, and the bolts obviously aren't all the way in. I don't want to have to rattle it all in just to take it off. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I had to notch out that bottom one, which makes sense now that you think about it. So I'll just tidy that up and take it off and then fully weld it. But uh, yeah, everything else is pretty good. 460 measurement open so 440 was ideal with the weight on so I'm hoping yeah with everything on it'll drop 20 mil and uh, yeah should be in the ballpark but um, yeah it's a bit of a muck around with these brackets like it's yeah takes a lot longer than you think and then you realize you can't calculate for shit like that and then chop it out but that's all good and done that one now so I'll fully weld it and get the other side done on the own. Thanks for watching. We'll be releasing new videos every Friday at 5 pm Australian Easter Standard Time, so make sure to click the subscribe button so you never miss a video. If you've got any questions about the build, I'm sure Shane would be happy to answer them. Just drop us a comment. And if you did like this video in particular, make sure to click the like button.